today I'm covering the topic of how to make video games productive. If you want self-improvement, you know that the large majority of self-improvement YouTubers advocate against some uh, video games and and I'm probably one of those as well, in all honesty. I don't like video games because I don't like consuming my real time, real life with the video game and just wasting away my years on this planet on something virtual that doesn't exist. And no one's really impressed by it apart from other video gamers. It's like that classic old adage, right? Grind in the video game and, there and other video gamers respect you. Grind in real life and other real people respect you. And for me, I think that grinding real life is more worth it. It's high ROI. So I'd rather grind in real life compared to the video game. However, I cannot deny the value of video games. I cannot deny the fact that people make a bunch of money in video games. People make really good memories of video games. Like I have really good memories of video games as well, but even then I'd willingly sacrifice that in order to advance real life. Turn back to my right now. I think that video games has a special place in my heart, but I don't think I see myself returning unless I reach a certain level of affluence and power within my own life and within life in general. That means reaching a certain level of financial status before really delving into video games. Because if I just delve into video games mindlessly, it's often difficult for me to just return back. Yeah, anyways, how to make video games productive? <laughs> I think the only way you can make video games productive is to by monetizing it via YouTube. If you're good at video games, and don't lie about this, alright, don't lie about this at all. If you're good at video games, then you can make clips, make YouTube videos, you can do potentially collabs with other video game YouTubers and slowly work your way up. Um, be aware though that the video games is like a drug. Video games is pretty much a drug. It has addictive properties. It manipulates the masculine essence of men in which they add like a leveling system and everything and skins and this and cosmetics. It manipulates and hijacks the masculine essence of competition in men. And oftentimes a lot of men who go or go into video games Instead of becoming men in the real world, they become men in the video game and they're quite affluent and powerful in the video game. And instead of becoming accomplished in real life with the money, the status, the woman, the family, they often still find themselves with girlfriends and something, but they're usually much geekier, nerdier, because they end up neglecting their real body and pushing all of their effort into their virtual body, which is a big issue which I've seen so far with video gamers and Something that I saw within myself as well, like I saw myself neglecting my real physique in favor of my Warframe physique, in favor of my Apex Legends physique, and this was honestly just super detrimental to my mental health and to people that saw my, my reputation, uh, uh, how people saw me around me. It's kind of worrying how I was before. Yes, that's the only way to make video games productive by making YouTube videos. <laughs> that's it. If you got like crazy reactions, then get a voice, uh, get a, um, a video cam, and start. Hello. Hongi. <laughs> Mew. And start recording yourself and start making content. <laughs> Of course, this isn't guaranteed for you to be viral. You're not guaranteed to be the next I show speed. But of course, it, being productive is infinitely better than not being productive. That's the end of this video. Catch you guys in the next one.